What you say, everybody? Tino Net is TK Foodology. Hey, I'm off in the kitchen today, and I am going to show you how to properly clean, season, and store your cast iron skillets. If you like me, don't like to cook in those unseasoned cast iron skillets because you know that it's not going to give you the flavor you're looking for whenever you're cooking. So, with these steps, it will help ensure that you can get that good taste and flavor over time that the cast iron typically builds whenever it's seasoned properly. And that typically, we're no typically about it, it does come from your care of making sure that everything is properly done to make sure that that season stays kept. So stick around with me and I'm gonna show you how this thing is done. Okay, here we go. All right, well, I wanna start off by saying thank you for tuning in and watching the video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel and, and also hit that notification button so you can be notified whenever we upload videos and give us a thumbs up if you would and leave a comment if you uh, care to, to comment on it. But what we have is a La Crusade griddle cast iron skillet and all we're doing is just taking um, uh, salt to it and uh, we fired it up, we got it on the stove and we're just taking our scrubber and scrubbing all the food particles off. So as you can see, that's what we got going on here. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is get your water hot into your sink and just go ahead and get that skillet off in there. And now all of your food particles is gonna rise up to the top. And now you simply go ahead and do your wet clean here. Don't ever use dishwashing, dishwashing soap or any type of soap whenever you're trying to do this because you do not want to ruin that, that built up uh, season. So simply water, hot water, and a scrubber would do, and you can see that in this process, the food particles come right off. As you can see now, the particles just came right off. Nothing but water. I'm gonna spray a little bit more water on, just to make sure that we got the, the leftover or the remnant of uh, food particles just didn't come off. And this will ensure that whenever we throw our oil on it, that we will have a nice smooth surface and a good shine and sheen on the finish. So we just continue to do this process one more time to make sure that we get everything off. And it's also a good idea to clean the whole entire skillet if you can. Clean the backside and the handle. That way you make sure that you get all the food particles that are on that, uh, on that piece. Okay, so now since you got all the water out, now what you want to do is, is um, go ahead and grab you a towel, specifically a microfiber towel. And if you can do that, you'll see that the microfiber towel is a better towel to use instead of a paper towel because you won't have the leftover lint that a paper towel typically leaves behind whenever you uh, wipe something dry. So I found that microfiber towels work the best. I mean, if you got another type of towel that's not a terry towel, because a terry towel is another type of towel where it'll leave uh, the, the little lint particles behind. And you don't want that once you start to um, dry everything off and then go ahead and add your oil. So if you can alleviate that, use yourself a microfiber towel. Okay, so now the process is to get oil immediately on the cast iron. And this process is critical because once the cast iron dries, it will start to take a little bit of a rust form. We don't want that to happen. You want to alleviate any opportunity of your cast iron being rusty. Now, on something like this, on this uh, La Crusade um, cast iron, they're, they, they're really good cast irons to where the, the, the craftsmanship of it, it's, uh, it's very, very uh, seasoned by itself and that it doesn't take much for you to uh, oil this. So even when it being dry, it still looks like it's being oiled, but it's not. So on any other cast iron, you definitely want to make sure that you do the best job you can to keep it oiled immediately after you have um, uh, put any type of moisture on it. Drop a little bit of oil. What I like to do is get right on the bottoms. 
So if I got on the bottoms, which is down here, right into the crevice and start to go across, it'll ensure that all of the little grooves will get more uh, oiled. So what I'm gonna do here is just simply take that and turn the cast iron to where all of it gets it, and then simply let it run down to the bottom like so, and just let it get there. Now you can use like a spray, if you have like an olive oil spray or something. What I'm using to, to oil this is just regular olive oil. You can use avocado, you can use uh, coconut. I find that olive oil works the best because we cook with olive oil a lot. I like to cook with, with uh, olive or with uh, uh, coconut oil and avocado oil and grapeseed oil works as well. But you know, you can just use this right here to do it and it worked fine. Now just go ahead and grab your towel and then just go ahead and start to rub in all the grooves or all over the surface of the cast iron. When you're doing something like this one here, you wanna make sure that you get all the way in the grooves and just make sure that everything gets uh, coated with the oil. All right, so now we have everything oiled up. We have the, the piece uh, nicely sheened and it's just ready to be put in its home. What we've done is we've created these uh, Pioneer, the Pampered Pioneer shelves is what we call them. And they're just simply our cast iron holder um, racks. This one here that you're seeing is a two by six that we customized and made it into our cast iron holder and it holds well. And what we've also done is this. We've made it to where our children understand how to clean it by leaving them instructions. And this is just critical because whenever they are um, washing dishes, we want to make sure that, you know, that they don't miss any steps or take any shortcuts on cleaning cast iron. So it kind of works out for everyone here. And I think this is just a simple instruction on how to do it. Oh, and another tip is this. If you ever find yourself cooking chili or anything like eggs or um, sometimes you can cook bacon, all these different foods that leave behind hard food particles and you're like, man, I just don't have time to clean it. A good tip that you can do is to um, just simply leave water. Yes, leave water inside of the cast iron. And what will happen is that water will just, you know, eat away at most of the food particles if you let it sit there for a day or so. But the, the point is, is that it'll help clean um, off the cast iron and clean the food off of the cast iron once you get ready to clean. But the trick is do not drain the water and not clean it. Once you drain the water, immediately clean it because it will rust. So that's just another little tip and trick right there. So boom, there you have it, simple as that. That's how you would uh, properly clean, season, and uh, hang your cast iron skillets in a nice place. And that way you can ensure to um, savor the flavor on your cast iron and also keep a good TLC up on it. And that way you can pass it on down to your descendants uh, for generations to last. Now, I also wanted to mention um, you've seen these, um, what we call pampered pioneer chefs made by yours truly TK foodology. Uh, we, uh, make these here. This one here is an actual, uh, two by six, uh, made in wood. Um, it has four hangers on it to hang uh, a large cast iron, um, two medium size and a small. They range it in different measurements. So, uh, that's one we have here. We also have others that we uh, also uh, make and for the purpose of not just for cast iron, but also for regular pots and pans that you can put in store. And also we have some that we made out of, uh, made into uh, spice racks. So, I uh, want to tell you, if you're in the Dallas area and you are uh, specifically roaming around in uh, Irving, Texas, there is a place called ATV, and that stands for Another Times Vintage, and we also sell those uh, there. So I recommend that you go by and check them out. 
uh, check us out there. And also check out everything that's in ATV. They have a wide range of different stuff there uh, from antiques to uh, collectibles and such and such. So I recommend that you go by there, check it out. And, uh, and yeah, just look around. So anyway, until next time, y'all be safe, be blessed, and I'll see you on the curb. Yeah, man, I'm burning